Hi again, Mark here from Talking Bass. This week I'm going to give you a super quick tip on getting started with double thumb slap technique. I already have a longer, more extensive tutorial here on YouTube, but there is one problem that I see in every beginner to this technique that I'm going to address here. So as you're probably aware, double thumbing is a cool slap bass technique where we use the thumb to play both a downstroke and an upstroke more like pick playing. So normal slapping just deals with that single bounce off the string. With double thumbing, we hit down and then back up. So the biggest problem that you're going to face with double thumbing is the basic action. It looks pretty straightforward, you know, just go in and out with the thumb. But any of you that have already tried it have probably already found out how weird it can feel after playing with the standard bounce technique. I suffered from this for ages and I found the key to success was very much in the prep by mastering a much more basic technique. The technique that I'm talking about is the slap rest stroke. So most regular slappers get used to bouncing the thumb off the string like this. So you hit the string and then you just let it bounce off ready for the next hit. But with rest stroke, just as with finger picking, you slap through the string and let the thumb come to rest on the next string. Okay, so let's slap the open E string. So you want to slap with the thumb, so strike it there with the thumb and you continue the motion so that the thumb comes to rest on the A string. So hit the E and rest on the A. That's the rest stroke. This is the key to understanding double thumb. If you can perfect playing with that technique for a while, you'll find double thumbing much, much easier because you're already in position for the upstroke. So let's just try playing a very, very simple bass line using slap rest stroke that sounds like this. Three, four. So I've kept this line super, super simple, and that's for a reason that I'll get to in a minute. But all we have here are the notes G, B, C, and D. Third fret E string, second fret A string, third fret A string, and fifth fret A string. So we're just playing a bar on each, and we're just playing on one and, and then three and. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Just round and round. And that's the exercise. So you can see that this rest stroke is very much like just playing down strokes with a pick. And you'll also notice that you get a little bit more fundamental with it. You've got a little bit more bottom end, and it's a little bit more forceful. You know, with the bounce, it's a bit there's a it's a bit more harmonic driven. When we play with the uh, rest stroke, there's more bottom end. And like I say, it's a little bit more forceful. But, uh, you know, you've just got to get used to it. And it will feel a little bit weird at first if you're used to the bounce. But you've just got to get used to that kind of in-out kind of action. Just that striking through and coming to land on that string. Okay? So you want to practice playing different grooves and lines using only the rest stroke. Try any lines that you already know and try making up your own. You know, try putting pops in there. Just simple slap lines. And playing simply like this, or very more conventional, is very, very important. Don't be too impatient in moving to double thumbing. Get the rest stroke down first. No, you won't be able to play, you know, as quickly as you can with the bounce at first, but you'll get over that when you bring the double thumb into play. And also remember that this isn't a substitute for the bounce. Both techniques are very useful for different applications. If I'm playing a line like this, The bounce is way, way better. Playing it with rest stroke, you know, it just doesn't work, but it's all in the prep. Treat the rest stroke like a simple downstroke of a pick. Okay, so once you feel comfortable with the rest stroke, you can try moving on to the double thumb. So what we're gonna do here is play a G, third fret of the E string, and we're gonna play a downstroke, okay? And then we're gonna come up with that upstroke. So, come to rest on the A string, and then just bring it back up. Okay, so you want that snap on it. And to do that, you're gonna be catching it with the corner of the thumbnail. So you're not gonna be coming up with the middle of the thumbnail. You're not gonna be coming with the, uh, you know, the side edge of the thumb. You don't wanna catch it with the skin. It's that corner of the thumb. So you want the thumb fairly parallel to the strings here. You don't want the thumb aiming up. You don't want it aiming down, you know, like flea. You don't want any of that. You want the thumb fairly parallel. You might want a little bit of an angle, 
a slight angle up so that you can catch it with the thumbnail a bit easier. But, you know, to all intents and purposes, you're fairly parallel. So, come down, land on the A string, and then just catch it on the way up. Okay, so just try that, just the down up, just in isolation. And you want to keep the thumb fairly rigid and you want to use the forearm a little more. So when you're playing with the bounce, it's very much this kind of rotation that you have there in the, uh, in the thumb. Whereas with the double thumb, because we're coming in, kind of like an in-out kind of action, you can use the, th the forearm more. You know, you're using this elbow more as a lever. So, and it gives you a little bit more whack when you're coming back up. So, just try that in isolation. Okay, so next you just want to start treating that double thumb action like a pick. So think about it. When you first try playing with a pick, you don't instantly move into learning, you know, crazy fast and complicated lines. You start out easy. So just try playing simple bass lines to get some practice with it. Treat it like a pick. It doesn't have to be, you know, super funky. You don't need pops or ghost nuts in there. Just basic stuff. So you could try the, uh, the basic line that we had before. But try it with the up and down action. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Okay, so G, B, C, D. So, as one last simple exercise, let's just try taking that simple progression again of G, B, C, D, and we'll play a very simple pedal rhythm through the notes using the double thumb technique, which sounds like this. Three, four. So we're just playing simple eighth notes there, one and two and three and four and, and remember what I said about the elbow there, we're getting quite a bit of, of arm involved there. You know, you can just play it on one note for a while, just perfecting that action and you want to aim for consistency and don't hit too hard, you know, you, you know you're not really wanting to whack it, try and be controlled with it. Watch the hand if you need to, so that you can, you know, keep track of where you are. And eventually you'll build up the muscle memory in there. And then you can just start to build up speed. Okay, so that's just a simple, quick tip for getting that basic double thumb action down. Remember to like this vid, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel for lessons every Friday. Also, check out the Talking Bass website and the lesson map where you'll find over 350 lessons on every topic imaginable. So if you want to know more about slapping, there's a bunch of lessons, as well as a complete slap bass course. So check it out, and I'll see you next week.